This is Queen Nina, Nakano Purple, and Shine Musket. And this is Pione and Kyoho. All of which are large, seedless grape you can buy here in Japan, and that is the topic of today. About some times in August, I purchased five different types of grapes and tried it out. July, August, and September are the grape season here in Japan. If you live in Tokyo, you could find most of the famous grapes here in any fruits vendor in the city. With that money, you can buy grapes come in the size of ping pong, and they are delicious. With that being said, allow me to start this list with the biggest, heaviest, and the most beautiful types of grapes I have ever found here in Japan, the Queen Nina. Believe it or not, this thing only cost me 700 yen. They're seedless and as delicious as it could ever be. I was born and raised in Southeast Asia, so seeing the grapes this side is mind-blowing. Just by holding it and softly squeeze it, you can feel the density, the weight, and the deliciousness of it. Comparing it to a 500 yen coin, this thing is about twice the size and a little over 3 centimeters. It weighs about 32 gram, which is the largest and the heaviest amongst all the list. And upon making this video, I also learned about the importance of this whitish cloudy coating on grapes. It's called the bloom, which is the sign of freshness on fruits like grapes, blueberry, and plums. When you buy grapes in a large volume, be sure not to wash everything out in advance. Because if you're not going to eat everything right away, these cloudy coating are what keeps the grape fresh. The next is the shine musket. There's not much to explain about the shine musket because they are already quite well known. I have never seen anyone who tried the shine musket and did not like it. They are so unobjectionably delicious. They're of course seedless and about the size of a 100 yen coin. This is one type of grapes in Japan that can be very very expensive. It can go from 800 yen to as high as 7,000 yen. Because I'm on budget, the one I purchased here is only for 700 yen and to be honest with you, it's already pretty addictive. Grapes in Japan are divided into three categories, red, green, and black. The next one that I recommend you should try is a black grape and it's called Nakano Purple. This one is not very well known but it's one of my favorite amongst all the black grapes. This one is significantly smaller than the Queen Nina and the Shine Musket. You can distinguish this grape by its very dark skin color. The next one is Pione. Probably the most beautiful looking one on this list and the one I spend most of my money on. But honestly, I don't really enjoy it. It's the largest amongst all the black grapes I bought at about 20.5 gram. The reason I don't really like it is because I like grapes that are more firm. And this one is more on the softer side of the scale. The next one is Kyoho. This is actually one of the most well-known grapes here in Japan, but it's one of my least favorite for some reason. It's probably because the one I purchased was quite inexpensive. So I imagine the one with a higher price will probably taste a lot better. Kyoho and Nakano Purple looks quite similar. So I put the picture here side by side so you can tell the difference. I think the reason Kyoho is quite famous is because it's known to be a large grape. In fact, in Japanese, the word Kyo also stands for enormous or gigantic. With that in mind, it's actually quite impressive how large Queen Nina is. But again, these grapes comes in different price. So I can imagine the more expensive one could be bigger and taste better. In total, I spent about 4,000 yen on everything. But after I cut them and put them together, it's worth it. It looks beautiful and I ate them all. Keep in mind there are many many more amazing grapes you can purchase here in Japan. And the more you learn about it, the more you can enjoy it. That is it guys. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you learned something from this video and perhaps drooling a little bit because let's be honest, they all look very amazing. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.